Meanwhile, voters across Nebraska hit the polls today to vote in the state's primary election. Poll workers in Madison County started setting up around 7 this morning to open those polls at 8 a.m. One notable change this year is that the primary is nonpartisan and voters have the opportunity to vote on three of the four Nebraska party ballots. You, you vote with the issues that you believe in and with the parties that you um, align with. And so having the opportunity to vote as a nonpartisan is a great opportunity for more voters. Polls across northeast Nebraska closed tonight at 8 p.m. Central Time, so you still have time to get out there and cast your vote if you have not already. And one of the more heated races so far this year is between the candidates looking to replace Republican Governor Pete Ricketts. In the latest polling data, Jim Pellin, who has been endorsed by Ricketts, the incumbent, held a slight lead over businessman Charles Herbster. Herbster has been endorsed by former President Donald Trump. State Senator Brett Lindstrom is polling at a close third. Locally, Dakota County Sheriff Chris, Chris Kleinberg is facing a challenge from Kevin Rohde in the Republican primary. Also in Dakota County, Marty Hohenstein, Rick Jenkins, Brian Van Berkham, and Kevin Hansen, all running to fill two at-large seats on the Dakota County Commissioners. There are also several federal and statewide races we will be covering all night. You can see a full list of races we'll be covering today at SiouxLandProud.com, or you can check it out for free on the KCAU 9 mobile news app.